Okay, then let's get started. Today's session is about project three. The goal of this project is to train the custom vision language model using a vision encoder, a text decoder, and a projection layer. As we did before, we will provide you three files, a data set file, IPython notebook, and a Python script. And your task is to complete the Python script and submit it via KRMS. And for sure, you must change the name of the Python script to your student ID. The file will be evaluated in CoreLab using this how to learn in CoreLab IPython notebook file. And below were the details, detailed instruction on how to learn the Python script in CoreLab. I think you guys should read this section carefully on your own. So I will skip this section and move on to the next. The next section is implementation. This project consists of three stages, which means you need to implement a model for each stage and also write the separate training and evaluation codes for each stage. Evaluation will be conducted by comparing the loss values from each stage with the TAs. Details of our grading criteria will be provided in the last section. And here is a brief introduction about each stage. Stage one is a CNN-based image classifier. Uh, you need to build your classifier and train the model with Cypherten. And the next stage is, is a transformer-based language model. And you also need to build a language model and train it with ERI-5 dataset. And the last stage is building a vision language model by combining the models from stage one and stage two. The train data set is a small vision, visual instruction tuning data set. And from now on, I will explain the details about each stage. The first is about stage one. As the model is trained with Cypher 10, the, the model takes an image with the shape of like this, batch size by three by 32 by 32. And this is the image resolution of, of the Cypher 10 data set. And the output, will be a shape of batch by by number of data set classes. So in this case, it will be 10. The model consists of a convolution, convolution block, pooling layer, a plate, a plating operation, and a plate connected layer. The convolution block has a four convolutional layers, each followed by a level activation function. After this block, on average pulling on average pulling layer is will be applied and the output output from the from this pulling layer uh, is plated to this shape batch size by 64 and finally a single linear layer is used to map the plating output to 10 the number of classes those are the details about stage one do you have any questions so far Okay, if you not, I will move on to the next section. Next stage is uh next is next stage is a transformer-based language model. Uh, the goal of this stage is to train a language model. Uh, here is the model configuration. Actually, this stage is almost the same as the previous. Uh, project two. So you need to fill in the argument of each layer properly. We also provide the exact same function listed in below: rotate attention, position fit, position wise fit forward, side solder position embedding, and a decoder layer, as we already did in the transformer practice section. And any questions? Or if not, let's move on to the last stage. I don't know if you can do it. I don't know if you can do 
아, 트랜스포머하고 데이터 세퍼를 좀 말씀이신가요? 아, 아 네. 아, 네, 알겠습니다. 그러면 업데이트 된 콜의 그 버전은 이거 버전 추가해서 다시 어, 올려드리도록 하겠습니다. 오케이, okay, as 형진 ask, uh, I will update this uh, Python notebook part uh, by specifying the version of the transformer and dataset library. 오케이, okay, the last stage 3 is training a vision language model. Uh, this model is consists of a vision encoder, text decoder, and a projection layer. Actually, the vision encoder and a text decoder are the pre-trained CNN and language models from the previous stage. To properly implement it, uh, to properly implement it, this model, you need to freeze the weight of the pre-trained CNN and a language model and only update the weight of the projection layer. Uh, you can freeze the model weight by setting required grid uh, to force for all parameters. <clears throat> the model comprises the following step. First step is image feature extraction. Uh, you need to use the pre-trained CNN from stage one and extract the image feature from an input image. The features are obtained before the average plugin layer, uh, that means right after the convolution block from the pre-trained CNN. The extracted feature will have a shape of batch size by up channel by H by W. The following steps are feature reshaping and feature projection. As the extracted image feature are used, used to the input of the language model, uh, we need to adjust, adjust the shape of the extracted image feature. Thus, first, we need to reshape the shape of the extracted image feature like, like this shape. And this step is adjusting the image feature to the same, to the same format as text embedding. As usually, text format have a, has a same shape of batch size by text sequence length by dimension. So we are we reformatting the image feature uh, with the same format like this. And the next step is adjusting the dimension of the reshaped image feature to the dimension of the word embeddings. The dimension of the word embeddings is the same as the stage two language model as we as the model as we uh, as the as we uh, as we use the model of the stage two model. To do this, we need to create a single linear layer. Uh, for the projection for the projection layer, we only use a single linear layer. And the last step is input concatenation. Uh, to make an input of the stage to model, we need to combine the projected image feature and the text embeddings. For the text embeddings, you 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 need to uh, you should use the embedding layer trained during the stage two. The projected image feature will have a shape of like this, batch size by h by w by dim dimension, and the text embedding will have a shape of like this. Uh, so you need to combine those two to feature and use the concatenated data to the input of the stage two model. And those are the details of stage, two, uh, stage three. Any questions so far? The point of stage three is uh, you need to construct a new projection layer and using already defined CNN encoder and text decoder and just concatenating the input to the model to the input concatenating the data for the input of the text decoder. And uh, please note that you please note that you must freeze the weight of the pre-trained uh, pre CNN and language model and only update the weight of the projection layer.
Oh yes, right. The concrete net input shape is will be the yes, yes, as you write down. We need to concatenate the input along the sequence length, a uh, sequence dimension. No, no, no tuning any hyperparameter, right? All right, you don't need to tuning any hyperparameters. Okay, then let's move on to the next section. <clears throat> the next is about the data set. Uh, and we already provide the data set pre-processing code, so you don't need to about you don't need to worry about that. And the cipher 10 is for stage one and ELI5 data set is used for stage two. And the pre-processing code for ELI5 is almost the same with the previous project three. And when we will use a subset and modified version of Lava instruction data set for stage three, we will provide you a total of 1,500 samples and each sample consists of an image, instruction, and response. And you can think of instruction as a question and response as an answer. And if you want to know more detail about the data set pre-processing, and you can read this below. Uh, can I move to the next section or any questions? Okay, then the next section is about the evaluation and here are the lowest ranges when learning the TS code. After learning code, three lizard pie will be created for separate, separate stages, for stage one, stage two, and stages three. Sorry, it's a typo. And the code will be evaluated with the seed set to zero and a total epoch set to three. Uh, and the last is about the grading criteria. We will give you A if all evaluation losses at all states must exactly match the TA's lizard. Uh, beginning of the sentence. Oh, thank you, Yongjin. Yes, the uh, BOS talk. Uh, the BOS talk and the US talk is just the indicator to set the be, uh, to indicate the beginning of the sentence and the end of the sentence. And then we we will use GPT two tokenizer, and in this vocab, the BOS token and US token already defined. So. Yeah. You don't need to care about that. And um, okay, then we will give you A if all evaluation loss at all states must exactly match the TA's loss values. And if the loss values of any two stages out of the three uh, must match the TA's, and we will give you B. And C is when the loss value of any one stage out of the three must match the TA's. And if none of the three states match, match we will give you d but the code should loss uh, but the code must run properly and any other cases uh, the, the grade will be f 
like non submission or late submission and submitting room function in code. Uh, this is the end of the instruction. And do you have any questions so far? If you clearly understand all instruction, you can leave the class or The Korean machine changed uh, the environment. Uh, is it changed today? Uh, um. Um. 머신에 따라 로스 밸류가 영향이 받는 게 무슨 말일까요? Um. Uh, we will use the core app and the runtime will be T4G3U and how long does version take to? Ah, 그럼 아, 그 준성님께서 시드가 매일 바뀐다는 것은 그럼 오늘은 시드 원으로 해서 오늘 측정하고 내일도 시드 원으로 해서 측정하면 달라진다는 것이 있을까요? 아 들리시나요? 어 네네. 아 그게 그 이전 그 질문 글들에서도 그렇고 그게 구글 인터널 콜랩 인터널 시드가 그 네. 매일마다 바뀌는 것 같아요. 그래서 그 로스 값이 하루 단위로 바뀌더라고요. 같은 시드여도요? 네네네. Uh, so it seems that uh, the collab, Google Collab seed internal ch seed changes every day. So on a, da on a daily basis, it seems that the resulting loss value is changing, even if the exact same seed is used. And it was actually pointed out by, by several um, students in the course at 
class, and if I remember correctly, so uh, I, I think she is probably talking about that. 아, 그 부분에 대해서는 저희 키 분들이 따로 공유가 안 됐던 것 같은데, 이거는 다시 얘기를 해보고 업데이트 드리도록 하겠습니다. 이 질문 하나만 드려도 될까요? 아, 네. 아, 혹시 그 채팅창에 올라와 있는 거 먼저 다 질문하고 답변하고 말씀해 주실 수 있을까요? 그 방금 말씀하신 거 관련돼서 아. 제가 아까 처음에 올린 건데 그 구글의 시드가 제가 알기로는 시드가 바뀌는 게 아니고 머신 유형이 자체가 바뀌고 그에 따라서 그러니까 이 기계 자체가 바뀌고 그에 따라서 GPU 유형이 같은 D4 유형의 GPU를 선택하더라도 머신이 바뀌고 아. 그에 따라서 그 설치된 파이, 파이토치 버전이나 이런 것들이 바뀌기 때문에 이 시, 뭔가 시드가 바뀐다기보다는 그런 거에 의해서 영향을 받는 걸로 알고 있습니다. 그래서 네, 이전 프로젝트... 그런 게 아, 네. 프로젝트... 그런 걸 아, 아, 죄송합니다. 먼저 말씀해 주세요. 제가 그래서 프로젝트 원 때는 자정이 지나니까 같은 코드를 돌렸는데도 그런 것 때문에 로스 밸류가 바뀌는 것 같았고 이런 게 언제 실행하느냐에 따라서 저희가 맞게 코드를 짰지만 이 밸리드한 로스 구간에 저희 값이 안 나오는 문제가 있을 수 있어서 질문 드렸습니다. 음, 근데 프로젝트 2 때는 A를 받으신 분이 전체 수강생들 중에서 350명이 넘으셨거든요. 그럼 이거는 상관없는 거 아닌가요? 막상 저희가 채점할 때는 A를 하는 게그 로스 밸류가 정확히 일치했을 때 저희가 A를 준 걸로 기억을 하는데 채점할 때가 그 중요한 게 아니고 그러니까 저희가 이걸 맞춰보려면 돌려봐야 되잖아요. 그 돌려보는 네. 거가 저희가 여기에 쓰인 값이랑 다르면 틀렸다는 건데 그러니까 실험을 해볼 때 아, 맞는지 확인을 하기 위해서 내일은 값이, 여기 있는 값이 업데이트가 되어야 된다는 의미였습니다. 그게 프로젝트 2 때는 안 바뀌는 안 바뀐 걸로 기억을 하는데 프로젝트 1 때는 바뀌었었어요. 아 근데 프로젝트 1 때는 문제가 파이토치 버전이 그 사이에 업데이트가 되었다고 하더라고요. 그래서 이제 그런 시드 이 레인지가 좀 바뀐 걸로 알고 있는데 프로젝트 2 때는 문제가 없었다는 거면은 상관없는 거 아닌가요? 그게 구글이 그 어떤 어떤 식으로 머신을 바꾸는지 그런 폴리시 같은 것들이 공개돼 있지 않다 보니까 이게 하루마다 바, 자정에 딱 바뀌는 게 아니고 특정 시점에 바뀔 수도 있는 거고 그런 거라서. 그건 구글 같습니다. 내부 폴리시니까 그건 저희가 모르는 부분인 것 같아요. 그것도 마음대로 바꾸는 거죠. 음... 이, 이게 뭔가 이렇게 논의할 사항이다기보다는 그냥 내일 한번 시인님께서 확인 한번 해주시고 네. 업데이트 해주시면 될것 같습니다. 네. 근데 내일 어차피 12시까지 제출인데 아, 아 오, 내일 자정 넘어서 오늘 자정 넘어서 그때 다시 한번 업데이트 드리도록 할게요. 그럼 이 부분은 제가. 네, 감사합니다. 아, 롱, 더, 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 Does only the time for the validation. Only for the validation, it takes uh, only within 10 minutes, I guess. And and total training and validation time uh, will take um, I guess until it's not take that long. Uh, I guess it only takes 15 minutes. I guess. 제가 TP 아 T4 GPU로 돌렸을 때 트레이닝하고 밸리데이션 타임이 어 3회 프로 스팅했을 때도 한 시간도 안 걸렸거든요. 한 15분, 30분 정도 걸렸던 것 같습니다. 
김정은 님께서 이벨리에이션 파트는 없어서 모델만 짜면 되냐 물어보시는데 아니고요. 어, 각 스테이지별로 이벨리에이션하고 트레이닝 코드를 직접 짜셔야 되고요. 어, 저희가 이제 KLMS에 올려드릴 파이썬 스크립트에 보면 은 똑같이 트레이닝하고 이벨리에이션 짜는 코드 부분이 있습니다. 음, we need to implement a model for each stage and also we need to write a separate training and evaluation codes for each stage. 전체적인 트레이닝 과정은 한 15분? 적어 많이 걸려 30분도 안 걸렸던 것 같고요. 또 so total training time uh, only take uh, within 30 minutes. 어, oh, yes, right. The Instruction for the evaluation code is provided in the Python script. <목소리도> 혹시 아까 그 시드 로스 관련해서 얘기해 주신 분 아직 계실까요? 저희가 그 로스 레인지를 이렇게 구분해서 좀 주어 드리, 아, 드리고 있는데 그러면 오늘 돌렸을 때하고 내일 돌렸을 때가 그 로스 밸류 차이가 많이 났었나요? 이렇게 10 이상으로? 아, 네, 알겠습니다. 네, 좋은 의견 감사드립니다. 아무리 업데이트 this document when the loss value is exceed this range, uh, when I learn the correct and the loss value is exceed, uh, is not uh, exceed or not contain in this provide range. 
기선님께서 프리트레인 모델이 사용된다는 게 무슨 말씀이신 거죠? 데이터셋은 자동으로 다운받게 되어 있고요. The data set will be downloaded automatically and I'm, I'm not sure what the pre-trained model will be used by default. 아, 네. Although, what does the masking mean in stage two? You mean the masking token? Oh, we also use the cudgel mask in this project.
If you have no further question, you may leave. Uh, no, actually, all all the three stages, or the three stage model will be trained and evaluated separately, and the only last st three stage is trained and evaluated uh, using the pre-trained model. Actually, you uh you need to build a three st a stage three model with using the stage one and stage two model. And also stage one and stage two model should be trained and evaluated separately. Oh, 그러니까 stage one 모델을 학습시키고 또 평가를 해야 되는 것이고 stage two 모델을 또 따로 학습시키고 평가를 하셔야 되는 것이고요. 그래서 stage one, stage two가 각 evaluation loss 값이 나와야 되는 것이고요. stage three 같은 경우는 어 앞에서 학습하였던 stage one과 stage two 모델을 사용해서 어, 더 부, 어, 프로젝션 레이어를 추가를 해서 스테이지 3 모델을 만드시고 또 이제 학습과 평가를 하셔야 되는 것입니다. 그 validation loss range for stage 3 is already provided here. Can you see this line? Actually, the stage one and stage model is not a multimodal model. It's just a single modal key model. And the stage one is image classifier only using the Cypher 10 image. And the stage two is the length model only use the ERI5 data set. And the stage three is a multimodal model that using a... Uh, this visual instruction data set. And... Uh, this visual instruction tuning data set and this data set is consists of a pair of an image and a text instruction and list points. Gizon님, 이제 이게 멀티멀 데이터 셋이 되겠죠. 이미지와 텍스트인 인스트럭션과 리스폰스로 이루어져 있는 이 데이터 셋을 사용을 해서 스테이지 3를 학습을 시키는 거고요. 사이파 10과 이제 ELI5 데이터 셋은 어 멀티모달 모델 학습용이 아니라 스테이지 1과 스테이지 2 모델을 각각 학습하기 위해 사용을 하는 것이고 
이렇게 학습된 스테이지 1과 스테이지 2 모델을 스테이지 3에 불러와서 이제 스테이지 3 모델을 구성한 다음에 이 저희 비주얼 인스트럭션 튜닝 데이터셋을 활용해서 이제 학습을 하는 것입니다. 질문 더 없으면 수업 종료해도 괜찮을까요? 어, uh, if you have no more question, I will conclude the session. Today's session.
if you have more questions, uh, upload it uh, through Classroom.